Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Friday, so it's weigh-in day. As usual, I'll be going over this week's workshop topic. I'm going to share how my week went as well as, of course, my weigh-in. But before we jump into today's video, if you're excited about another weigh-in, give this video a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and it really helps out my channel. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, which there's a lot of you that watch my videos but aren't subscribed, I would forever be grateful if you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it because I am about 500 subscribers away from hitting my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. So it would mean the world to me if you're not yet subscribed that you take a moment and do that. And lastly, make sure you're checking out that description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macro and calorie calculation, which is really, really important to kind of know where you should fall every day calorie and macro wise. And I also offer 30 minute and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So check that out out as well. Links, discount codes to my favorite things are in the description box as well as the link to join us over on Facebook. I have tons of fun things coming your way to round out 2020 and lots of good things coming starting in 2021 that I'm super excited about. So head on over and join us on Facebook. So let's jump into this week's workshop topic, weigh in and how my week was. Boy, oh boy, did I have a week. Not only was it my husband's birthday, it was our three year wedding anniversary and my birthday. So if you didn't know, my husband's birthday is November 17th. We also got married on his birthday, so that's also our anniversary. And my birthday is November 18th, the next day. So. It was a whirlwind of excitement this last week. Unfortunately, we were unable to do our annual trip to Leavenworth, Washington that we generally do every single year for our anniversary and birthdays due to our state pretty much being shut down again. It didn't make a lot of sense for us to spend the time and money heading out of town. So the good part of that was that I was able to stay on track throughout the whole week versus allowing myself the freedom to enjoy my little mini vacations. So I think that helped as far as staying on track. But the bad news besides the cancellation of our trip is that on my birthday, my favorite little friend arrived. Yep, on my birthday. Like, could it be any worse than on my birthday? So that was on Wednesday that that happened. So I'm just a couple days post my favorite time of the month. And I wasn't expecting a whole lot of success on the scale because as you know, as women, that time of month doesn't generate very good weight loss results. But nonetheless, I had a great week. I did pretty well on my food. I was a little bit extra hungry, which is to be expected when approaching that time of the month. And I did go over my calories and points, I believe two days instead of one this last week. But I did get in some jazzercise. And unfortunately, due to the shutdown, jazzercise is now shut down as well. And the only way to do classes after Monday, which I did go work out in studio on Monday, which was amazing, is to do it online. So I do have some online sessions scheduled so that I can continue my working out. That's just really important to me. I wanna make sure that I keep building my endurance. So considering everything that happened this last week, I feel like overall, I had a pretty darn good week. So we'll see how that translates in this week's weigh-in. We are still doing the fan favorite topics at the WW Workshop meetings. And this week's fan favorite was the simplest way to stay on track. And with the holidays here, I mean, Thanksgiving is next week, Christmas and New Year's are right around the corner. We need some simple tactics to stay on track. So I'm going to share with you WW's STAR method, S-T-A-R. These four letters are an easy way to stay on track and reach your goals throughout the holiday season. The S stands for specific. So what are your specific goals that you want to accomplish over the holiday season? And details are really important here. Really deep dive and be very, very specific on your goals. Now these goals don't have to be weight loss related. They could be self-care related, fitness related, mental health related, whatever type of goal you wanna to set to help you make it through the holiday. So let's say that your goal is self-care related. Your goal is on a Sunday evening after dinner to set aside one hour for self-care, whether that be put on a sheet mask, 
do an at-home manicure or pedicure, take a bubble bath, or maybe even read your favorite book. That can be your specific goal for the STAR method. The T stands for truly doable. So make sure whatever goal you set forth is realistic and something that you can actually accomplish. We can set all the goals we want, but if they're not realistic and if they're not something we can accomplish in a short period of time, they generally fall to the wayside. So going back to a little bit of self-care after dinner on Sunday. If you have kids, maybe your truly doable goal to accomplish this self-care is after your kids are in bed. Because when your kids are up and at them, it's hard to take an hour of self-care. So make whatever goal you have truly doable for you and your circumstances. The A stands for active. So what do you actually want to start doing? What is the active piece of your goal that you wanna start doing? And when you're thinking about this, don't think about what you want to stop doing yet think about what you actively want to do so you would say I'm going to take time to take care of myself versus I want to stop neglecting myself and the R stands for relevant so is this something you want to do this goal should not be something you think you need to do but something that you want to do so by taking that hour after dinner to yourself this is a chance for you to self-reflect to re-energize your batteries to take time to be a little bit self-compassionate so that you can be more present in your life so I love that the goals that we're shooting for here are doable they are short term they're relevant and there's something that we want to do not something that we feel like we should do so again take time to think about a goal for the next couple of months again it doesn't have to be weight loss related it could be anything that is doable relevant and something that you can put into place immediately that will help you just feel a little bit better and get a little bit closer to whatever goal you have by the end of the holiday season. So I told you guys a little bit about my week. It was a good week. I had a great birthday. I told my husband, I don't want anything for my birthday. I don't want a cart. I don't want anything. And then about a half an hour later, I said, well, I would like some flowers just because I don't have any. So he surprised me on our anniversary, the 17th, with a bouquet of flowers. Well, not a bouquet, more of a potted flower arrangement that's so pretty. I have it sitting on my kitchen island and I told him thank you so much. I just am missing the fresh flowers in my life because with it being winter here, fresh flowers aren't as abundant and they're generally not as pretty and high quality as they are in the summer months. So I appreciate that he took time after work to stop by and get me flowers. So other than that, we don't exchange gifts for anniversary or birthdays. We generally do our love and work trip, which as I mentioned, we had to cancel, but we just enjoyed our birthdays. And then tomorrow we're having a couple of friends over for a pizza night, just to kind of help celebrate a little bit more with people that are close to us. So I had a great week. I had a great anniversary and a great birthday. And thank you to all of you who reached out via messenger, text, and Facebook to wish me a happy birthday. It means a lot to me. So let's talk about weigh-in. As I mentioned, I started my favorite time of the month on Wednesday, two days before weigh-in. Really? Yeah, two days. I had a couple of higher calorie days, higher point days where I used all my weeklies and probably then some and went over my calorie goal, but I still managed to lose 0.4 when I stepped on the scale. And I honestly thought that I was going to have a gain, maybe not a large gain, but a small gain due to what I mentioned. However, I am feeling more and more confident with upping my calories. I'm noticing that even when I feel like I screwed up or however you want to put it, I'm still not gaining weight. I'm still losing weight or I'm maintaining my weight. So upping my calories was a really good decision for me. Metabolism has adjusted and my body can burn through those calories, which is the whole goal here is to be able to eat more and still lose weight. So I'm super grateful that I made this transition to really focusing on calories alongside points to make sure that I'm eating enough every single day and stoking my metabolism so that I can eventually eat more at maintenance. So happy to report that I still had a 0.4 loss. So as we move into the holidays, I want to hear down in the comments, what are your goals? How are you going to implement this star technique in your goals to make it through the holidays? Let me know how this week went. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? And anything else that you want to share down in the comments with me. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up. And don't forget to make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it and help me hit my 30,000 subscribers. I literally would be so excited. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy, happy Friday. And I will see you in tomorrow's massive, and I mean massive, grocery haul. Bye, friends.